All right. Um, I'm guessing the mic's picking me up now. And it wants to start mirroring. Great. I'm going to start mirroring my entire screen. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Uh, so uh, a few months back, I decided that I hated my entire dev tool system and wanted to throw it out and do something new. So I started by like, I want to write a new diff tool to replace the one that I was using. And that's called Pratt diff. But that's not the subject of the talk, because I also hate Git. So I had to say, like, OK, what version control do I want to use? Oh, we're back. We're back. We're, back. we're back. OK, I had to say, what version control? And I searched around. There's a thing called JJ. And the best thing of all about JJ is you don't actually have to commit to have to convince your coworkers to switch. Because isn't that always the problem when you're like, oh, there's a better version control system? And they're like, no, I like the pain and suffering that is Git. Um, and what have I done wrong here? Oh, it's not git fetch, it's git init, because because I'm, init I'm initializing a new repo. No git such file. Clone. What? Git clone. Ugh. Thank you. I, this is the problem, is I always forget the <laughs> subcommands for these things. We OK. So this is just pulling down the diff tool that I made. Um, so let's like go in and look at the diff tool. Also, there's a fun thing called z, which lets you like hop directories based on where you are a lot. Like, it just kind of remembers where your directories are useful. So there's another free tool for you. Um, so like every diff tool in existence, it can show you the log. Except this is just the log up to what I, you know, where my local has diverged. Um, but what's the like actually interesting part of this? So you know, I'm going to open up this change log, and uh, this line sucks. And well, let's save that. And while I'm at it, this line sucks. Eh, if I could type. And these lines suck too, right? And so now, obviously, if I just you know look at the diff that I'm seeing here, ah, typing live is always the fun part. Um, you can see, OK, that, that's the diff for that. Like, what does my working copy look like? It has changes. But actually, if I look at this, I can get it to show me uh, JJ op log. I can see uh, JJ op log, two commands. You can actually get to see all of the individual states. And you can go back to every individual state your file system has been at. So I should be able, if I got those changes at the correct points, <laughs> to restore back kind of arbitrarily. So let's just throw away what I have, restore. But so now, OK, nothing there. But actually, I want to undo that. And like that's not a big deal. But it turns out the fact that it can just keep all your incremental states, like you never have to have this moment where you're like, hey, I might want to come back to this. So if your bash history or your fish history keeps timestamps for your commands, you can just say, like, oh, what was the second before that command? Like, restore me to that, um, which is like a powerfully freeing thing, because I hate thinking ahead. Maybe you're like me. You should be, because I'm awesome, right? <laughs> like, I can hold my breath for 25 minutes. Um, and like, that's the gist of it. The other thing that this does that I'm not going to be able to create for you in the minute and a half that I have remaining is it just like it handles rebasing and merge conflicts in a more first class way. So if you've ever been in the state where you're like trying to do a rebase in Git and you're like, oh no, there's been a conflict that I can't resolve right now, you're like, too bad. You either have to abandon the entire rebase or push through. And in JJ, like the conflicted state is sort of stored in the thing. And so you could just leave it there and be like, cool, I'm going to like go off to a new part of the repo somewhere else and do more work. And I'll come back. And like the conflict is stored in the Git in the, in the log itself. Um, so that has been my incredibly inarticulate four minutes on JJ. Okay. If you're a person who likes to just mess with your tools, I highly recommend it. I mean, I, I did manage to suborn my uh, co-founder. So right now, Brontosaurus is a 100% JJ shop. <laughs> but also, unlike most experimental version control systems, it just backs onto Git. So when it, you push it upstream, still Git repo upstream, no one has to know that you're one of those weird JJ people. And you're not actually at risk of losing data, because Git has a pretty sound data model. Thank you.